Hello student, welcome to the online tutorial session. Today we will start the chapter number 9 that is the relational database model. Okay, few parts are there that is uh, are there in the syllabus and few parts are excluded. The, so today we will learn about the codes rule for the relational database management system. Okay. So, um, so almost uh, all the, in the present day, the database implementations are the based on the model called relational models. So that is developed and published by uh, EF Code in 1970. Okay, so it is a useful model to derive from the theory of relational algebra, and it is based on data modeling concept. It's called the relations. Okay. So, however, uh, mm, uh, to date, no commercial relation database is fully uh, confirms all two codes rule. But uh, still, uh, we are following this uh, list of uh, codes 12 rules, okay, uh, to make a proper relational database. Okay, so first rule, it uh, says is a rule of information rule, okay. So, the rule one that the, all the data should be presented to the user in a tabular format that I have said that in the tabular format you have to represent your data because it will be easier for understanding for either purpose okay number two uh, granted access rule all the data should be accessible without ambiguity this can be accomplished through the combination of table names primary key the column name the table column the primary key concept we will discuss about the left row sessions now, rule number three, systematic treatment of null values. Okay, the field should be allowed to be remain empty. So, this involves the support of null value. It means empty is there. If you have nothing is filled, it doesn't mean that uh, nothing is there, but we have to fill it. Nothing means with a null value. Okay, we cannot left it blank like that. Okay, so which is distinct from the empty uh, string or the number with a zero value. So, so you cannot, if a empty doesn't mean that null value empty and zero are not equal null means that the value is there that is a null empty means nothing is there zero means a value is there okay but if i want to left a field blank which means no value nothing so i need to put null value over there number four rule that is a dynamic dynamic online cat catalog based on the relational model so a relational database must uh, provide uh, access to its structure through the same uh, tools that are used to access the data. Okay, so data manipulation, uh, so this can be accomplished by the storing the structure of definition in special system table. So what are the uh, uh, columns name, what are the field names over there, what are the constraints we are imposing, what are the keys we are defining, this structure we need to capture down properly. Rule number five, that is a Comprehension data sublanguage rule. So database must support at least clearly defined language. Otherwise, we cannot generate the query. Okay. So that has the ability to data definition, data manipulation, data integrity, as well as the transaction control. So all those commercial relational databases are the forms of standard SQL. That is a structure query language. I have already discussed about this. Okay. It must be supported the structure query language. Okay, number six, uh, number five rule uh, is the Ghana, and the number six rule, view updating rule. So data can be presented to the user in a different logical combination of not all the, all the table at once, okay. Uh, different, different instances we can create and we can uh, give an instance of a view to the uh, uh, user, okay. Not a whole table data of everything. Whatever is required, that part as a view can give to the user. Rule number seven, the high level insert, update and delete. So data can be retrieved from the relational database in a set constructed of data from multiple rows. Data can be retrieved from the uh, multiple tables. So this rule states that insertion, update, deletion operation should be supported for any retrieval set rather than just to a single row and a single table. Okay, it can be applicable in insertion, deletion, manipulation can be applicable for all the rows and columns present in the particular table. Okay. So rule number uh, uh, A, that is a physical data independence, I have already discussed. The user is isolated from the physical method of storing how the information are getting stored, what will be the data type of the store, what is the primary key, everything. No, there is nothing relation. Uh, how to store physically data, it is not described. Now another rule number 9, that is a logical data independence. 
how the user views uh, data should not change when the logical structure of the data is changes. If suppose any relationship changes or anything happen, then it no, should not reflect the in the view of the data. Number 10, that is the integrity independence. That the database language, that is SQL, should support the rules on the user input that maintain the database integrity. If a foreign key is defined in one table, any value in it must exist as a primary key to other table. Okay, so foreign key primary con concept I'm coming in the later session so that it will be clear to you mm -hmm. what is actually primary key and uh, uh, foreign key so that integrity and independency is maintained. Number rule number 11 distribution of independence. A user should be totally unaware of whether or, or not the database is distributed. Okay, if it can be distributed, it may not be distributed. Okay, so user doesn't have any hints regarding this. Rule number 12, that non-subversions uh, rule, that data structure cannot be modified other than through a database language. Okay, so database usually having the administrator tool that is allow for the direct manipulation in, the, in case of data structure. So, this is all about the uh, a code rule of relational database management system. Actually, we need to follow this all rules while we set up in the of setting or while we creating this database. Now we are coming to the uh, next topic that is the component of relational algebra. Okay, there are many components of algebra is there. So I need to discuss the number two first. That is the tables first. Okay, so in a relational model, the relations are saved in the table format. So it is stored along with the entities. A table has two properties, rows and columns. Okay, row represents the records and column represents the attributes. Okay, so now we are coming to the what is attribute and what is the uh, tuple value. Okay, so attribute means each column in the table. Okay, so attributes are the properties which define the relation. For example, uh, student roll number, name. Okay, these are actually the um, attributes of the table called student. Okay, now coming back to the topic, that is a tuple. So the, it is a nothing but a single row in a uh, table which is contain a single record. Suppose I'm on asking about if you are consider a student table over here. Okay, so. I'm giving a particular example. Okay, let's uh, check the for this example. Okay, the table is known as an employee table, and this is employee ID, first name, last name. These all are the attribute of the particular table employee. Okay, and this row that is a uh, employee ID 11, Andrew, and last name Johnson. This whole row is actually represented as a record over here. Okay. Now, uh, the next uh, concept is a relation schema. Schema I have already discussed, but again I am discussing. A relation schema represents name of the relation which is attribute. So, how this particular table is related, that is known as the uh, schema. Degree, total number of attributes uh, which, uh, which are there in the relation is called the degree of relation. See over there, if you see this... Uh, uh, images over here just follow this image so this customer a name customer id customer status how many are there so there are threes are there so how many attributes are there that is represents the number of uh, when there is a denomination and the degree okay okay the degree and the, what is the cardinality cardinality is the total number of attributes which are a relation called the degree and cardinality is total number of rows present in the table so degree is total number of attribute pre, uh, attribute which is present in the relationship or cardinality is the number of row present in the table so if you see over there so degree is three cardinality is also three because there are three tuple and three columns three rows and three columns so degree is three for the three columns and cardinality is three for the three rows okay <clears throat> okay now coming back to the column column represent the set of values for a specific attribute like uh, um, employee id is having only the id numbers that is known as column that is the relation instance what is relation instance 
that is the relation instance is a finite set of tuples in RDBMS system. So relation instance never have the duplicate tuples over there. Okay. And what is relational key? Every row uh, has one or two more multiple attribute which is called the relational key. And attribute domain, every attribute has some predefined value that this must consist this kind of a values. Okay. This score which is known as the attribute domain. Okay. So we have discussed about the quads rule and the components of relational algebra. Today in the next session we will discuss about the relationship and the key concept of the DBMS. Okay. Thank you student. I am uh, ending my lecture over here.